let's take a look at what we got because we've been everywhere well, there we go a couple of those boom okay so we got some of these sizes we got some of these big ones we got some of these mid sizes and let's just take a few candidates for development this one for sure i love the way that looks and that one i'm liking that one already that one yeah okay put these away for now and now this is pretty cool so this is my I want to call this light graffiti, but I, I'm really, it's reverse graffiti. Whereas, you know, graffiti is spray painted onto subjects. I've effectively taken the shadow of a subject or off an object. So this is from the bench in La Mesa that says city of La Mesa. And uh, well, that's, that's all. I think it's pretty neat that we can, we can take our own light cyanotype light graffiti and we can take it and put it in our own home if we want and it's non-destructive let's develop this two-sided cyanotype from the bench all right so now we're going to bring up our uh, development tub which is just a plain old plastic you know tub and this is a, a screen it's got some water on it because i was developing cyanotypes on it earlier and we're just going to put this, you know, it doesn't even matter if it's face up or face down. And we're going to wash it with water. This is plain old tap water right out of the sink just now. And I'm going to spray it right onto here. You can actually see this development happen. Everywhere that is kind of yellowish is going to become whitish. Everywhere that is kind of grayish will become dark bluish. Actually, very dark blue. No ish about it. Okay. Now we can give it a little more water with the, I'm just going to open the back of this thing up. So that's one side. Let's develop the other side. And we're using a little less finesse on this side because I have a lot of development to do. So I've switched to simply pouring whole bottles of water on each of these ones for you, the viewer. Oh, let me take that back. I'm going to spray this one so that you can actually watch the development process happen in real time on a closer cyanotype than the last one. You can see the, the grayish gunmetal brownish color just washes right off and it, it reveals a kind of gray blue, but it will eventually turn from that gray blue to a dark blue. In fact, you can see it happen already in this image. It's already dark blue. This one's ready to move to the other drying screen. So we'll take it off the board here. I'll just make sure the back is a little wet. There we go. And there we go. I'm trying to, trying to hold it up just right so the reflections aren't too distracting. This is our, this is one final one that we're gonna do in real time. And then I'm gonna switch to We'll probably just time lapse out of this and then you'll be able to see what all the finished cyanotypes look like and they'll be dry then too, that'll be nice. But I wanna see how this turned out, so I'm gonna pour water on it. And we can watch the water do its work right now. It's already bringing out the colors that were latent in the image. And I love hearing that water drip sound, it's so encouraging. And we're just gonna develop all the rest of them after this in, in a fast motion sense. So these are the two resulting ones. They look real nice. I'm going to go put them away for now. Okay, well, now we've got all this development water, and I can actually keep developing cyanotypes in it. So I'm going to do that. So we'll put these in there. That way they can, uh, we can use the most of this water we've already used up. It's a good practice to reuse your development water for cyanotypes if you have a lot of them. The water can take a lot of the chemistry before it does anything to the prints. So you can keep using that water again and again. And let's also see how the large La Mesa bench turned out. I have to move that one into the tub because that's the only way I can develop all three sheets at once. And the tub is a fine place to develop your cyanotypes. 
if they're large and you have a nice tub that doesn't that isn't porous that doesn't absorb the colors and, and the things that are put into it the tub is an ideal place to do your development but when you're done make sure you rinse the tub out because you don't want any of this developed water leaving a like a hazy ring around your tub that's not going to give you a good bath later i'll see you in the next video everybody i love watching that tub water drain <laughs>